Is LinkedIn profile really important? As a recruiter, what do I look into your LinkedIn profile? What sections of LinkedIn profile should contain what information? When I open jobs on LinkedIn, how is LinkedIn promoting me right and relevant profiles? And also, have I rejected any candidate just because they do not have a right LinkedIn? I'm going to talk about all this in this informative video about LinkedIn. I've received lots of comments on creating this video. So I hope this helps you understand and create a right LinkedIn profile so that recruiters contact you directly to hire for the right job. And also during this entire video, I'm going to share lots of tips and tricks with you. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a free gift. Now this free gift will really help you in your own personalized LinkedIn profile. So stay tuned until the end of this video and please subscribe to my channel in case if you like what I'm doing. Thank you so much and let's get started. So let's get started and understand how do you create a right LinkedIn profile. Now before we go jump into LinkedIn, first question is, is LinkedIn profile really important? Well, as a recruiter and someone who's been hiring candidates for so many years, I think LinkedIn is very important. And for the days to come, I personally feel that there will be a time when we will not review the resumes, but we are going to review only your LinkedIn profile. So LinkedIn will be the new resume. So in case if you do not have a LinkedIn profile, then this is the right time to create your LinkedIn profile so that it will help you in future and also for your next job search. Now, let me give you an example. Say in today's age, if somebody is not using WhatsApp, what will you think about that person? Is WhatsApp really important? Well, you know it or not, WhatsApp has become very primary and very important in our day to day life. Similarly, LinkedIn has become very primary in professional environment. So let's go through each and every section in detail and understand what each section should contain. So now it also depends upon what profile you are in. What is your current role and what is your goal of having a LinkedIn profile? You can have one goal of getting a right job. You can have another goal of building great network. The other goal can be you want to build your personal brand. So based on all these different goals, your LinkedIn profile should be cre created in that way. Now, in my example, I'm a recruiter. I hire lots of candidates. So I have two goals here. One is I want to promote the jobs of my own company where I'm working in. And second, I want to promote my own personal branding. So that's why I have merged my LinkedIn profile in a way that I take care of both these aspects. Now let's go to the first section. The first section is the banner and the photo. Now these two things are very important. If not the banner, but the photo is very, very important. And in case if you have a LinkedIn profile, but not a photo, go right away, upload a photo on your LinkedIn profile. That gives the first level of authenticity to us as a recruiter that, okay, this can be a genuine profile, but please understand LinkedIn is a profile professional network it's not Instagram or it's not Facebook so you need to be very careful on what photos are you uploading no selfies no fancy photos it should be a very professional photo that you are uploading on LinkedIn now so first thing is yes you should have a photo and then second you can also have a banner to your LinkedIn profile now this banner can depict what is your passion what are you interested in so for example, my passion is uh, hiring people. So my banner says that I hire, I'm hiring in different countries and also it's talking about my YouTube channel. So I've made it a little bit more on my personal branding side. You can, uh, so you can create a banner that depicts what is your passion and what is either what is your current role or what you're passionate about. Now, if you do not know how to create a banner, just go to canva.com and say, a uh, LinkedIn banner and it will suggest you a lot of different uh, options. Now you can edit the ones which uh, are relevant for you, which are there are also free banners here and there are also paid versions. 
then comes your this section now this section is the most important section where a lot of people uh, go ahead and miss that now the first thing here this is a new feature on linkedin i don't know if you are aware of it but the first thing is you have to write your name and second is there is this small tick mark which is verification now what this verification does this will send an email to your company's email id and it will verify now this is very important step now this will give me as a recruiter and authenticity that the experience that you have mentioned on your linkedin profile it is correct it is not incorrect trust me guys when i've hired for so many roles there are fake profiles there are fake experiences and as a recruiter it is our responsibility to mitigate such risk to hire genuine candidates and the more information that we keep getting on your profile that your profile is genuine the more easy it is to make a decision on you so go ahead and verify your profile by your company's email id this now comes this section now this section is what you can use to show your skills you can mention your actual skills here say if you are a react developer you can mention react js uh, node js ui ux this whatever you want you can mention here that talks about your skills so in my case i'm talking about i am always hiring people i am helping people company scale right now i'm hiring in europe asia usa and i'm also into sustainability and i also help job seekers find the right job so that's why i've captured all this information so if anybody who comes to my profile they will know that i'm into hr and i'm hiring people similarly you can use this part to go ahead and write what is what are your skills so the first section and how do you can do this if you edit here you write your name you write your pronouns if you want to say uh, she she him and then you can go ahead the headline now in the headline you can mention what are your skill sets and then you can mention your current position your current industry your education your current location and your contact information and so on so basically this section is important to give a brief idea to the recruiter what are you working on now then comes the talks about section the talks about section are nothing but the five important uh, topics that you keep posting about or you keep talking about now this section is not very important so you can ignore that section if you are not interested now there is a new another interesting section that linkedin has which goes to featured now this featured is nothing but if say you have a very important post or you, if you have received a new achievement and you want to showcase that to anybody who comes on your linkedin profile then you can go ahead and add that in the featured section so uh, make sure you make use of this section don't add all your post in the featured section no that's not the idea it's just where you've done something important you've received an award received an appreciation uh you have uh, or you you have done some analysis and you really like that so you can go ahead and uh feature that particular post or that achievement here you have a youtube video you want to feature that you can do that as well so for example i have featured a uh, few post where you know i was invited as a chief guest and i've gone ahead and posted here so that whenever who comes to my profile they see all these different features chat section so now i what i can do is i can just click on add i can add a post add a new letter uh, newsletter an article or a link or even photos or videos here so go ahead and make use of this featured section but this is not important but it gives a good feel and look to your linkedin profile so what is important the activity section now the activity section when i'm looking for a candidate uh, it is very important to make sure that you have not liked or commented or anything which has a negative implication or which is a negative which shows that you have a negative outlook towards life or towards any company or uh, your uh, 
colleagues or the work or the life as a whole you know you have to be positive about life in general positive about everything that you're doing and that should show on your social media presence as well so your linkedin profile should be positive now this is a very important section when it comes to hiring your about section do not copy paste your resume as it is into your about section your resume is different your linkedin is different your linkedin should show in a very crisp manner you know what do you do and what what was your experience about again write skills here mention your uh, actual skills your actual achievements now there are two ways of the about section you can write it in in your own words like say i am a global leader or you can also write it in a, in a third person form for example i've written my name and mentioned that's okay it has to be very professionally written no grammatical mistakes no english mistakes and highlight this section with your skills what is your current skills what have you done and your previous experience now in your top skills this is where linkedin is this is how linkedin is going to start promoting your profiles to a recruiter and how is linkedin picking up these top skills if you go and click on edit that is where you have mentioned your top skills here so you can go ahead and add maximum of five skills then comes your each and every experience please mention your experience in a right manner uh, from starting till the end so for example if you see in my linkedin profile uh, i have it from my first job from 2010 until my current job which is uh, in uh, frankfurt so i have mentioned lot of information here but it's upon you you do not need to fill so much information and mention lot but at the end i'm giving them the entire idea of what tools i have worked with what was my last role and uh, you know how how uh, what i contributed in this role and if you see my role with this company with my previous company called betsol it also gives them an idea how i was promoted so i was uh, for two years i was i was an operations manager then i was promoted to a director and then after that i was again promoted in one year to the director of global talent acquisition so within this four years i was uh, promoted in different roles and that but this is all in one company so make sure that's exactly how you mention what i've seen with the candidates is they mention the company three four times and then they add the different roles on new roles don't do that in the same company you have to mention the different roles that you were promoted into okay and this section again now whenever you go ahead and add experience in your linkedin profile if you click on edit here you will get to add skills now this skills is very important now this is the skills where uh, how a recruiter will get to know whether your linkedin profile is matching to uh, to the job that they are hiring for or not so make sure you are having right skills here so that people can contact you if you have incorrect skills here then you will not get right calls okay you can only mention maximum of 50 skills across all your job roles so make sure that you mention uh, the right and the relevant ones the old skills that you have you can remove them you don't need to have them and then your comes your previous experience now for every experience see, i have not written anything here but you can if you want to you can write two or three sentences and you know you can uh, go ahead and uh, add your previous experience here as well but the main important sections about of your linkedin are your experience your skills here that you are mentioning and then uh, your uh, about section that you are mentioning and also the top skills that you are mentioning after that after you have completed and filled your experience section in detail then comes your education please mention your education details uh, clearly your license and certifications and again the skills that you have you can uh, go ahead and add that here i can't add it because maximum i can use 50 skills so i've already used my 50 skills in my experience so i'm not able to add skills in my this section 
and then uh, you can also add your languages now if you have additional languages say i'm learning german i know english i know punjabi hindi i can i can add those languages so please make sure you go ahead and add those languages here in your bottom section and in case if you have any recommendation then it's always good to show good recommendations that you have received here on your linkedin profile that all and this is an option where you want to show or you want to hide your recommendations uh what is important here is that you uh, mention your roles and responsibilities clearly in your experience section now that is how when as a recruiter when i look into a linkedin profile i see i match like what i'm hiring to do you have that experience or not i look into your activity i look into your uh, about section and i also look whether your profile is verified or not verified now these are some important steps if you want even in your featured section one tip you can also upload your resume so uh i would suggest if you're looking for a job please go ahead and have that banner open uh for job now you will be worried that what if my current company uh sees it but there is an option in linkedin that says that you can hide it let me show you how do you do that so you what you can do is you can click on open to and say finding a job now in this finding a job you can add the title you can add the location and then if you see your visibility it easily says it recruiters only so basically only the recruiters will see your job or all your linkedin members so you can say recruiters only but be careful here it says while we take steps not to show your show recruiters at your current company we can't guarantee complete privacy so linkedin will try its best to not to show your current recruiters working in your company but still it might happen that they might be able to see it which is rare but you can do that and what happens is if you have this open to banner and say example if i'm searching for a software engineer and i go ahead and see some people who have mentioned open to then it becomes easier for me to contact them otherwise linkedin is more of passive searching you know where we contact candidates who are not really looking for a job change but we try and talk to them and ask them whether you want are you interested in this role or not however if you have mentioned that on your profile then it becomes easier for us to contact you and reach out to you because then we know that even you are looking for a job change so if possible have that open to banner on your linkedin profile if you are looking for a job change that's another tip for you now let me show you how your profile is matched to a job whenever a job is published so say if i go uh to linkedin and i search for a job of a software engineer again now here instead of going to people i'm going to jobs now when i go to a job and i click on an open job here if you see very clearly if i open this job it says what are the skills this job is looking for now if i see those skills it's clearly mentioned here 10 skills Now what LinkedIn is doing is LinkedIn is matching these ten skills with my LinkedIn profile. However, in my LinkedIn profile, if you see, there are no skill skills mentioned to C, C plus plus or anything. My skills are related to hiring, recruitment. So that's why it is telling me as a recruiter, and even you, LinkedIn will also show you this information as a candidate. that how many skills are missing as per the job role so it is telling me 10 skills so this information is also seen by the recruiter now if this is a job that you are applying for then you need to make sure that your linkedin profile also has these 10 10 or at least 6 to 7 skills that are mentioned here you're not lying you're just making sure that if you have those skills that skill should be mentioned in your linkedin profile so that it is also visible for a recruiter to match that and even linkedin is doing that keyword matching here now if you want to know how do you do the right keyword matching with your job there is a very detailed video created by me please go ahead and watch that that will help you create a right resume and also identify keywords in the job description for your linkedin profile and for your resume now what happens is if i go ahead and uh, when i uh, when i have a recruiter license then when i am searching for a job 
on the right hand side i see your relevant profiles or matching profiles and then i click on that person's profile and i can see the skills and then as a recruiter i can decide whether i want to contact them or not and when i open one profile then it will show me matching profile so basically it's a loop so that's why and all that matching that linkedin is doing is doing based on the skills that you have mentioned on your linkedin profile so the skills section is very important so i hope this gives you an idea about what you need to mention in your linkedin profile and as a recruiter what do we look into your linkedin profile now as promised i'm going to give you a free gift now what is this free gift this free gift is if you're okay and you're comfortable then you can go ahead and paste your linkedin profile in the comment section below and i will go ahead and review each and every comment and each and every linkedin profile and give you one feedback on your linkedin profile that you can update quickly as a recruiter what i think can benefit you on your linkedin profile i'll give you one feedback so that's a free gift from me and in case if you are interested to have a one to one booking with me or you want to know more about recruitment and how to create a right resume or how do you come to germany to find a job then i go ahead and help with that please book my one to one consultation there is a link in the description below i hope my videos help you and if they do then please go ahead and comment and subscribe i'm here to help you find a right job bye and take care